In the city of prohibition, one pig sets out to remain as excessively drunk as he can, all the while fending off junkies addicted to the dangerous psychoactive bacon, as well as fighting off murderous cyborgs, a powerful police sergeant, gangsters with a fondness for decapitation, flying crocodile balloons that bite back, and worst of all, his own creeping humanity and emotions. Bacon fried bastard. Hopefully, I'm not a bastard. Yes, you are. Thank you. What's bacon fried bastard all about? It's everything in the intro and more. It's definitely a story of excess. Um, it's about the pig character fighting to keep his own independence. Sometimes, literally, it can get hyper violent. But that suits the excess of the story. It's definitely not kid friendly. It is fun and funny as well. All the surrealness is supposed to be uh, entertaining. As, uh, but as the story kicks in, it actually becomes remarkably profound as well, considering all the extreme surrealness that the, surrounded in it's quite a lot of character in it. In particular, one of the standout characters is a woman who finds her own way to be devastatingly independent. I can't say too much more than that without spoiling the plot. Because it's quite that's that for me is the most interesting um, part of the story. Is the book a satire? It's difficult to say exactly what it is a satire of. Um, I'd leave that one up to you to consider because I can't tell you too much about the story. Is all the stuff that happens, all the excess, is it all too much? I don't think so. Um, I think it all serves a purpose. Um, even the fact that the um, main character is a pig after a while starts to make sense so the book is a grand uh, the book has a grand surrealness um that i think is brought together in a very satisfying way okay that's bacon fried bastard available on audible now read by edmund bloxham thank you for listening i've been edmund bloxham i'll continue to be edmund bloxham whether my girlfriend likes it or not oh no See you next time.